one. Hi Kat and Le, congratulations. Well, first of all, Kat, since you've been my student before, I would like to say that uh, it's been a pleasure uh, being a part of your learning years. And uh, thank you that uh, I've been a friend of yours, not only your teacher, and that I've imparted a lot of things when it comes to life. I used, I used to be your listener before, don't you remember? Uh, when it comes to your love story, you and Lek. And I'm happy that now came into realization and that you both were able to make it. Well, my advice to both of you is that uh, you just have to be humble when dealing with things in life. You have to set away or do away with pride because that will ruin the relationship. And you have to be loving and God-fearing. Okay, uh, in order for you to make a long and lasting relationship, I, uh, I would suggest that you put God first. You put God in the center of your relationship. Always uh, take note or always remember that bonding the relationship with the power of three is stronger than bonding it with the power of two. So, therefore, in every dreams, in every plans, in every aspiration, even in romance, you have to seek God. How will you seek God? The scripture is clear. Okay, you have to realize also uh, that being married is not only satisfying uh, the desires of both husband and wife, but uh, it is a means for you to be able to realize God's plan for your life and God's plan for his kingdom. So he needs both of you as husband and wife to be able to fulfill his plans in this world. So once again, I speak blessings to both of you. Always remember that uh, the means for God to realize his vision in you is that you have to make the most out of marriage. You have to be a witness of how God is awesome or is very good when it comes to your relationship. Once again, congratulations to both of you. Um, good luck. And uh, um, I wish to see you praising God and also blessing uh, future families because of, of your wonderful relationship. Once again, congratulations.